Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. In today's video, I'm gonna be filming a requested video and a video that I have actually promised I would film for a long time now and it is going to be my top luxury fragrances. I have really gotten into fragrances lately and these are all the current fragrances in my collection that I just absolutely love. I cannot live without. Now keep in mind they are luxury fragrances so they are a little more on the splurge worthy side but they are all worth it and in today's video I'm going to tell you a little bit about each fragrance and then you guys can make the call if it's something that you want to invest in and like usual all fragrances mentioned in today's video will be linked down below so without further ado if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and let's get right into the video okay so as you guys know luxury fragrances unfortunately can be very expensive so I wanted to provide you with a few alternatives at the beginning of this video dossier was kind enough to gift me three fragrances of my choice so I went to the website and I was so excited because I've heard so many good things about dossier and I picked out three fragrances and you guys when I got them in the mail when I tell you that they smelled exactly like the luxury fragrances I own and love I was blown away I was even talking to my husband I was like Dave you have to smell this smell this one smell this one so I wanted to share three fragrances with you today that I did receive from Dossier. And I'm telling you guys, if you are someone who loves luxury fragrances but you don't want to pay that luxury price tag, I would highly recommend checking out the Dossier website because their prices are 70 to 90% less than the luxury fragrances that we own and love. Okay, so I was able to go to the website. I was able to pick three. So I wanted to share those three with you. The first one, of course, you know how much I love, Baccarat Rouge 540. So I went and I saw this one right here. This is Amber Saffron, okay? And when I got home, this is the first one that I wanted to smell because I thought to myself, there's no way that it smells just like Baccarat Rouge because of course Baccarat Rouge is comes with a hefty price tag. It's $325, but it smells just like it. So let me tell you a little bit about the notes. The top notes are saffron, orange blossom, the middle notes are jasmine, plum, and cedarwood, and the base notes are oak moss, fir balsam, and amber. You guys, this smells absolutely delightful, delicious. I always describe Baccarat Rouge 540 as a good date night scent, and this is that. So if you're someone that you want Baccarat Rouge 540, but the $325 price tag is too much, definitely consider this option for sure. Again, this one is ambery, saffron, just like Baccarat Rouge 540. I'm telling you, my husband could not tell the difference. Okay, the next one that I picked up was this one right here. This one is Floral Honeysuckle. So if you guys like Gucci Bloom, you are going to die over this fragrance. I'm telling you, I still cannot get over. It smells exactly like Gucci Bloom. So let me tell you the notes that are in this one in case you guys are interested. The top notes are Green Leaves, Orange, Honeysuckle. The middle notes are Jasmine, Sam Bach, tuberose and the base notes are orris sandalwood and vanilla and again this one is inspired by gucci bloom you guys i know i keep repeating myself but all i ask is that you give it a try if you order from the website the good thing is if you're not satisfied you can definitely return it and they donate all of the returns to charity which i think is awesome so this is the second fragrance that i picked up so gucci bloom and then baccarat rouge 540 are the two that these are inspired by and then i picked one more out and this this one right here, you guys know um, Nectarine Blossom and Honey by Jo Malone is a longtime favorite. This one is Fruity Honey, and this one is inspired by Nectarine Blossom and Honey. And the top notes are Black Currant, Green Leaves, the middle notes are Honey, Nectarine, the base notes are Peach and Vetiver. You guys, oh my god, so bad, so good. This is a nice fruity scent, definitely a spring, summer scent, so I would highly recommend these. But if you're not into those three fragrances that I mentioned, definitely check out the website. I will leave a link below so you guys can check it out. As I stated, if you're not interested, you can return the bottle and they will donate it to charity, which I think is amazing. And there is a welcome offer on the site for new customers where you can get 20% off and they were kind enough to provide me with a code. I will put the link down below. And if you have the welcome offer along with my code, you can get up to 30% off, which is an amazing deal. So I did not make any money off of the links. So trust me on this. Just go to the website, 
try it. You are going to love it. I have actually found myself spraying Amber Saffron more than Baccarat Rouge 540. It smells exactly like it and I've already gotten so many compliments. So yeah, so go ahead. I highly recommend check out the Dossier website. I know these luxury fragrances can be really expensive. So these are really, really good affordable options because they eliminate the retailer markups, marketing, as well as all the licensing fees. So make sure to check it out and thank you kindly to Dossier for sending me those three fragrances. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, so let me take a little sip of my Starbucks and we're going to get right into it. These are my top 10 luxury fragrances that I have absolutely been loving. Now I do have to say they're not in any particular order because it would be too hard to choose, but I just know that all of these 10 are my absolute favorites. So of course we are going to start with this one right here. Now Gardenia absolutely has my heart. This is pure gardenia but it has a touch of sweetness to it i just absolutely love it the bottle is very simplistic it has the lid that has the cc logo at the top and it is a magnetic top as you can see and what i'm going to do for a lot of these fragrances i am going to read the notes to you because i'm not always the best at describing them so then you can kind of make your mind up if it's a fragrance that you would like so Coco chanel adored white flowers so well defined so sensual yet her emblem the camellia has no scent unlike the garden which it so closely resembles filling the air with fragrance the gardenia inspired this luxurious floral scent so this is a very sweet scent so when i think of gardenia it's not like an overly floral scent it's just really light and nice there's a touch of sweetness to it it's such a good scent i honestly wear this during the day i wear this at night every time i spray this it just makes me happy and it is such a beautiful scent so i would highly highly recommend it i love it so much that i was afraid to run out of it so i have two bottles and then i also have a tiny one as well and then you know my obsession with every time i order from the chanel website sometimes we'll have chanel gardenia samples that you can add at checkout and sometimes i will purposely split my order up so that i can get those samples which i love but now what i do i order from the boutique so then that way they can send me the gardenia samples i am just obsessed with this and you can tell because look how much i have used but chanel gardenia is the first one I wanted to recommend. Okay, now let's recommend the one you guys know that I'm going to talk about and that's Baccarat Rouge 540. This one is a zinger. It is a pricey one. It comes in at $325. One of the most pricey fragrances I think I've ever purchased but it's so worth it. This is a very sultry like sexy scent. Very much a date night scent. A lot of people say you wear this at night but you guys I wear this during the day too and I still remember there was a day I went to my daughter's the cross practice and I walked up and one of the other moms was like oh my gosh what are you wearing you know you smell so good and I have just gotten so many compliments so let me kind of read you a little bit about this one right here background rouge 540 lays on the skin like an amber floral and woody breeze a poetic alchemy a graphic and highly condensed signature so this is a woody ambery floral maybe that's why I like it so much because it has my name in it <laughs> and then the top notes are jasmine and saffron this is so good and then you have the bottle right here. It has the red. I liked it so much that I even purchased the candle. Absolutely love it. But this is pricey. But I am telling you guys, if you don't want to spend the money, definitely check out Ambry Saffron by Dossier. It smells just like it and you can save a ton of money. But this is the next fragrance on my list. Okay, now we're going to move to a Louis Vuitton fragrance. And it's this one right here. And this is one of my favorites. You can see by the bottle, I have used quite a bit. Now I am going to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. One of the main reasons I purchased this is because at the time you got the really pretty bag. And plus this bottle is so pretty with the ombre color. And then you can see the Louis Vuitton at the top and the magnetic closure. These are engravable. You can get them engraved as well and you can refill the bottles. But this one truly, truly reminds me of summer. These fragrances are a bit pricey. They are $280. They have gone up, which is quite unfortunate, but this is such a nice smelling fragrance. This is a very citrusy scent. So if you like fruity scents, I think you're really going to love it. Very fresh. It has neroli, thyme, rosemary, pink pepper, and cloves, and it is just such a great scent. It is perfect for summer. I absolutely love this. And Louis Vuitton is great because if you guys order anything, they will give you a bunch of samples. I have so many of these samples that I like to throw in my purse, but 
this is definitely one of my favorites. As I stated, you can see from how much I've used. And it's hard to use that much of a fragrance, but every time I use it, I'm just like, I just love it. Okay, we're going to go to another Louis Vuitton scent. And it is this one right here. This is Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim. And I have to be honest, this is another one. This is actually a men's fragrance. It's a men's cologne, but I love it so much. I went in the store and I sprayed it and I was like, oh, it's just so fresh and I just absolutely love it. You get this beautiful blue bottle. It's the same format as the other one. You have the LV logo at the top, the magnetic uh, closure. You can get this engraved. This is a wonderful scent. A plunge into an ocean of sensations, feeling all the energy of the waves washing over the skin on a hot summer day. A sensation of immense freshness imbues this perfume in which bergamot drifts toward a wave of delights set against a deep current of mandarin. No wonder I like, are you guys sensing a theme with a lot of these fragrances? They're all like fruity, citrusy, orangey. I love like orange. That's like my favorite orange, citrus, anything like that. But Afternoon Swim, it is marketed as a men's fragrance, but I love it. I actually just wore it today. It is a beautiful, beautiful, fresh, Scent. Okay, moving right along, we have Gucci Bloom. This is an oldie but a goodie for me. I love this. And again, this one, it can be close to $100. I think I paid $130 for this. But if you don't want to pay that price tag, you can check out this Dossier Floral Honeysuckle that smells just like it. So this one, you can see the bottle. It is a pink bottle, just very simplistic. It says Gucci Bloom. This is very much a floral scent, but let me read you the notes. So it's a classic floral, and it's a sophisticated perfume capturing the spirit of the contemporary, diverse, and authentic women of Gucci. Gucci Bloom's notes of natural tuberose and jasmine create an unexpectedly rich white floral scent on the skin. So I have to be honest with you, I am not typically a fan of floral scents like especially like rose or anything like that but this is just so nice and feminine and fresh this is a very romantic scent and I always recommend this for like Mother's Day or Valentine's Day it is just a beautiful feminine scent I absolutely love Gucci Bloom okay the next one I want to talk about is another Gucci scent and it is Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia so again are you sensing a theme gardenia and then I also like citrusy scents that's kind of where I tend to venture when it comes to fragrances but this one let's just take a moment to talk about the bottle because I will be honest that is one of the things that attracted me to this perfume you have the beautiful pink bottle with flowers on it you have this gold cap it's a very very gorgeous bottle this, once again, has gardenia in it, and let me kind of read you a little bit about the details. It says, Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia is a delicious potion of joy built around the gardenia flower blended with solar jasmine absolute, cheerful pear blossom accord, and sweet brown sugar accord, a signature floral scent for all free-spirited women full of positive energy. So the scent type, it's a rich white floral, and the key notes are pear blossom, Middle notes are white gardenia and jasmine, and then the base are brown sugar and patchouli. This is just a beautiful, beautiful scent. Another one that's very, very feminine. You cannot go wrong. One of my favorites. Okay, let's talk about a recent purchase, a recent fragrance purchase for me, and it is this beauty right here, and this is Chance Otandra. So... I've never really been attracted to a lot of the Chanel scents other than Gardenia, but I went to the counter. I remember I was at Saks Fifth Avenue, and um, I asked the lady, I'm like, yeah, I kind of described to her the type of fragrances that I like. She was like, well, let's try Chance Autandra. And the thing that stood out to me about this one is it was just very fresh. It was a very, very fresh scent and a fresh and a clean scent. And I really liked that. So you might recall if you're following me on Instagram, if you're not, make sure you do so. I do a ton of reels and all sorts of things. I did do an unboxing reel, kind of sharing with you these, this fragrance and a ton of you were like, oh my gosh, you're going to love that. That's my signature scent. I wear it all the time. I get so many compliments. So you guys love this scent. So it is a beautiful bottle. It says Chance Autandra. And then you can see the square top. It is like a frosted top right there 
And let me go ahead and let me kind of tell you a little bit about this. So this is a fresh fruity floral. The keynotes are citron, jasmine, and teak wood. The delicate and unexpected fruity floral fragrance for women creates a soft whirlwind of happiness, fantasy, and radiance. A green and fruity grapefruit cord intertwines with the softness of jasmine and the smoothness of white musks for an intoxicatingly light floral trail. See, that's the key. That's why I like to read this to you because that's that's a very good description. It is a very light floral and I think that's why I like it because sometimes with floral scents it can be a little too much but this is just light and fresh and this is definitely a scent that you can wear on a day-to-day -day basis and people are just going to be so attracted to you and intoxicated by you. So love this one. The next one I want to share is this one right here. This is by Huda Beauty which you know if you I'm sure you guys are familiar with Huda Beauty makeup. This is called Eden Juicy Apple. This was music to my ears because I am all about that fruity and fresh scent. This one right here, for, well first off, let's talk about the bottle. Beautiful red bottle, you have the clear top. Let me tell you, if you like fruity scents, this is just gonna blow your socks off. It smells so sweet and it's juicy and it makes you wanna almost eat it if you can. It, it just smells so good. This is described as fruity, floral, and deliciously sweet and that is true, it is definitely delicious. The top notes are juicy red apple, black currant, pink grapefruit, and lychee. Bellberries, raspberry blossom, jasmine rose, and then the dry down is vanilla flower, amber crystals, sugared moss, and sensual musk. This says playful and vibrant. The succulent scent is a tempting mouth-watering infusion of crisp and juicy red apples, sweet berries, and fresh floral notes that will keep you wanting more and more. And that is so true. Every time I spray this, I have to spray more because it is so intoxicating. It is juicy it is sweet it just it is so good but keep in mind you definitely have to like fruity scents because this is fruity all the way and I love it okay the next scent I want to talk about is this one right here this is by Giorgio Armani this is my way I like this scent so much that I have the travel size and I actually got one of my good friends turned on to it as well I wore it to dinner one night and she was like oh my gosh what are you wearing and she liked it so much that I got her one for her birthday as well but Giorgio Armani my way you can see the beautiful bottle you see the top it is just very very stunning this one I always describe it as a very very sweet scent. It is, it's a floral fragrance, but it's very, very sweet. It doesn't have like that powdery smell that some floral fragrances can have. So let me tell you a little bit about it. It's bergamot meets orange blossom from Egypt in a luminous sparkling start with an amplified bright floral bouquet of tuberose and jasmine from India as the beating heart. Finally, a vibrant cedar wood from Virginia meets a sensual vanilla from Madagascar and white musks to sign the composition. The blue and gold cap is a metaphor, metaphor of the world. Oh, I didn't know that. The blue is the universal color that unites all of us. It is englobed by a golden ring stamped with the Giorgio Armani signature, a symbol of a unique path that is illuminated by every encounter along the way. Oh, I didn't know that. So. The keynotes, bergamot, orange blossom, tuberose, jasmine, cedarwood, vanilla, and white musk. This is so good. And I'm noticing a lot of very, very similar notes in a lot of these fragrances, but this is definitely a good one. I have one more to share, and it is this guy right here. It is Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey. This is such a good one. Actually, you guys know I, I love all of the Jo Malone scents, but this is probably one of my favorites. I also like orange blossom and then I like um, wood sage and sea salt but this is definitely um, my favorite and once again it is a little pricey so if you don't want this one definitely try fruity honey right here by Dossier which is a lot more affordable so this is a very very sweet scent this is a spring summer scent I love this. The only negative I have to say about some of the Jo Malone scents is I don't feel as they last as long as some of the others, but a lot of times what I'll do, because this is a light scent, I will keep this in my car and I'll kind of spray it before I go into the gym, and I'm telling you I get so many compliments like, oh, what is that? That's a really nice fresh scent. So let me kind of tell you a little bit about the notes. This is from the Floral Fragrance family. It's a fruity floral. The key notes are cassis 
honey and peach. Oh, honey and peach. I, that's what I'm smelling. I always wonder when it's nectarine blossom and honey, I'm like, what specifically and I'm smelling? And I think it's a combination of the honey and the peach. So this says, since Covenant Garden, early morning market, succulent nectarine, peach and cassis, and delicate spring flowers melt into the note of of honey, sweet and delightfully playful. Oh, this is so good. And the nice thing about Jo Malone scents as well is you can mix them to kind of come up with your own signature scent as well. So this is so yummy, so fruity, and perfect for the upcoming season. Okay, I know I said I only had 10 fragrances, but I had to mention this one as number 11. This is Roja Reckless. Now, you get this one at Neiman Marcus. This is another one, of course, it is a little pricey, but it is just so unique. Now, I initially went in to smell one of the other Roja perfumes. While I was there, a lady recommended it, and it is so beautiful. This is kind of described as a sweet floral. It's fresh, soft, powdery, and it's a very, very sensual scent. But first, let's look at this beautiful bottle. You have the purple bottle. You have like a little triangle rhinestone there. You can see the back, and it has the beautiful top right here just stunning and it was packaged so beautifully as well it came in a nice little box that had silk it was just so stunning I had never unboxed a perfume like that before but let me kind of read you the notes of this one the top notes are bergamot mandarin orange the heart notes are geranium rose de mai neroli jasmine degree and the base notes are coriander pink pepper cinnamon sandalwood vanilla styrax and musk so the way they describe it is really really nice they say opening with a trio of zesty citrus fruits bergamot mandarin and orange introduced reckless as a bright and energetic floral creation with an invigorating hint of coriander and pink pepper to up the excitement factor the sweet elegance of a central rose note is enhanced to fresher heights by geranium whilst the creaminess of a focal neroli flower is given a further sensuality through an addition of jasmine. Beneath this easygoing character, a layering of benzoin and vanilla enhance the natural sweetness of these petals as the whole settles onto a bed of legendary sandalwood. So this is really, really creamy and beautiful, but I definitely had to recommend this, especially if I was referring to luxurious scents this is by far one of my favorites okay you guys so there you have it those were my favorite fragrances i will be honest i did just purchase one recently it is by perfumes de marley that smells so good and i really really like it i will put like an overlay on the screen however i haven't really had that scent long enough to really give you a fair assessment these fragrances i've had for quite a long time and i really love experimenting with them and then just using a bunch I like to kind of smell different each day I really do but these are so good so in case you guys are interested I will be sure to link all of the fragrances that I mentioned today down below and I will also link all the information about dossier like I said those are really really affordable options and if there are any fragrances that you really really like definitely check out the website because they do have affordable options that are very very similar to the luxury brands and they smell exact like absolutely exact and if you are a new customer you can take advantage of that 20% off and then get up to 30% using my code down below again I don't make any money from that code but they were kind enough to provide that to me so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed but now I would love to know what is your favorite luxury scent or favorite scent in general i have been really on a fragrance kick lately i love smelling good i've actually my daughter is 10 and i've already kind of gotten her into fragrances and stuff so you know she's spraying a lot and she likes to smell good too and she's a tomboy too so i love that she's like starting to get into that kind of stuff so let me know down below if there is like a scent that you just can't live without i would love to hear about it because as i stated i'm always looking for that new beautiful scent so thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful day if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video Wish me the best.